<laughs> I'm such a bastard. All right, all right. Um, shit. Okay, that's right. We did all the things. Four point ninety-five service rating. Pretty good. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna have to wait even fucking longer because we won the scenario. Now I gotta talk to the talk to the Don. Raving about the restaurant, especially the food. Uh, he bought a restaurant. All those banking yuppies need a place to eat. Okay, he's got a little character on him besides general Italian stereotype mobster. What do you want me to do? Yep, okay, so. We do have too many chefs in the kitchen right now, but now we can start to do a bit of a balancing act. How many do we need to actually run La Cosa Nostra and a bunch of other stuff? What kind of restaurant? Ah, it's a French. Interesting. I might have to rearrange the furniture a bit. I'm off to Los Angeles. Oh no. Hmm. There's American cuisine in this game, isn't there? Alright. You've earned a break. French is your medal. Yep. Okay, French restaurant in Rome. Stop. First thing we want to do is look up Le Pilar de De... I don't really give a crap. Okay. So, we go to La Cosa. Look at the staff. Huh. Doesn't look like he increased much of anything. Alright, let's put him back at Tres de Table. Actually. Well, alright. First we need to look up the... Uh, Half star piece of shit, then I have to. Okay, what is this? What is this? What the hell? What the actual fuck? How d What? How do you even. Is there anything on the second floor? There isn't, thank god. It's a pretty big restaurant. Um. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start adjusting a little bit. Some bullshit right here. I don't mind those separators. In fact, some of this looks pretty good, but no. Fuck you. I kind of like that as an intro. Um, mm, That's cool. Paintings all over the fucking walls. Someone just spent all their... That's... Ugh. Okay, whatever. Actually, let me check its... Uh... Hello. What is this? Huh. That's cool. Expected daily customers. 14. 129. What is this? Profit? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Revenue's been going down because it's a new month. I don't care. Right. Okay, we have to get this off the ground. What's our actual goal? Okay. Overall rating of 3.5. Italian regional cooking contest win. Satisfaction is good. Um, yeah, I'm just deleting shit on mass at this point. Uh, right. Oops. Come on. Get rid of that. Okay. And then you get to be put in the corner where you belong. Okay. I cannot see the bounding box, but it just goes all the way back there. Okay. Is that floating? No, it's on the very corner. Um, yeah, just rearrange. Like the Don told me to. Okay. I think I can keep all these. Th Come on, move, damn it. I'm gonna try and keep all these things because they do look pretty nice, but. Hell, we could even get a second entrance into the kitchen here. Okay, so... Yeah, there really isn't all that much. Um, yeah, these table settings are horrid. We're just gonna... Get ourselves some nice amenities here. Actually, if it was more... 
Well, okay, I do like that entrance carpet. Um, yeah, let's do something a bit different here. Let's see if we can't make this tiling look good. And Oh my god, it really doesn't. Okay, wallpaper needs to attempt to look good. It's hard, but that one looks kind of the best. Kind of the best. Okay, and this is definitely the best seating, so we'll do that. That's centered enough. Uh, that separator just needs to be adjusted out of the way. Okay. Three on the first floor, starting to intrude over on the entrance way, but that's fine. Nice big spot. I mean, there's already tons of shit on the walls already, but we'll just, you know, put a little extra. Why not? Um, I think two is just fine. In fact, we're gonna flip you around, so... You just be in the art gallery at this point. Uh, actually, we will keep some sense of symmetry. Okay, I think the stairs are still accessible. Um, but since there's nothing over on this side, I'm going to put the curio cabinet there and have the... Yeah, that looks a little better. Okay, cool. So, five tables on the first floor. They might need their own captain, but the second floor has got the restrooms. And they can definitely be scooched into the corner. Like so. Okay. Um... Let's put the things in there first, and then we'll see. Weird, they're different sizes, but okay. Uh, yeah, we can already adjust this down, I can tell. Certain items will fall outside the new, really? Okay, fine. We will delete the doors and try that again. Oh, look. Nothing we need to do here. Okay, make sure we can at least fit two sinks in there. The answer, I believe, is easily. Ooh, do I do symmetry? Eh, sure, we'll do symmetry. Yeah, look at me, I'm not making the absolute smallest restrooms I need to. I'm actually giving them a little bit of space. And a little bit of symmetry, too. Who knew? Mm, yeah, the slate floor looks a little better. It really doesn't, and I don't care. It's just, I'm just gonna hide it. It's different, that's all that matters. Okay. Now comes the hard part, because I think... Yeah... Bathroom is right over the kitchen. Um, okay, we're going to get rid of this door. We're probably going to get rid of half of these items. Let's just throw them over here real fast. Yeah, here's what we'll do. We'll take like two off of the... Okay. Fine, the kitchen just gets to be huge now. There you go, huge kitchen. <laughs> we'll put all the plants back here where no one can see them. Statue goes there. What's in the way? Walls up. Okay. <laughs> yep, that's fine. And the things were here in the staircase, and now they're saying, oh, you'll block access. Well, fine. There. Statue goes behind the curio cabinet. No one sees. What is hidden? K. 
okay. Everything still fits. Well, okay, this is starting to fit a lot less. So we don't need to do it that much. Okay, hold on. How much do we need to do it? Here's here's the eternal question of not applicable on. Oh wow, it does need to be all the way over there. Okay. That's fine. Got some fucking decoration around here. Okay, so now we have a huge ass kitchen that we really don't need. Back room? Hmm. We could do a back room. Kind of like those statues on the entrance. Let's take... What is this? Plain? No, French themed. Yeah, fuck that. Okay. So yes, I'm going to do something like this. A little bit more room over here. Ah, fuck it. You get a huge kitchen. That's fine. We'll have our overflow seating down here, and we'll just... Yeah, there's plenty of room up here. We can tart this up just nice. Uh, we're gonna stick with the same... Yeah, why not? Ah, fine. I'm a sucker for that, I guess. Okay, two, three, four, make sure we got a good five away from that, and then we'll do another five over here, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's no center, so we'll just do eight like that, because they all fit. That should be enough for uh, two chefs to handle. Dining table light on all tables, radius, all lights, nice and lit up. Even halfway tempted to throw a light or two over here. Standard wall light, French Empire style. Well, if it's Empire style, we might as well remind people of Empire. Where is two portraits of Napoleon? Because we're just classy like that. Okay, and of course, my favorite thing to do is to put the separators so that you can't see the dumb waiter in the corner. And fancy ass fountain right in the center, and that looks. Ooh, it's just a little bit off over here. Hold on, let's see if I can't. Ooh, that's good. That's right in the center. I like that. I wish I could keep the uh, wine trussle, but it seems like we're going to have to do keep that for the end. Look at this huge-ass kitchen. Whoever gets to work here is going to be very happy. Except for the fact that none of this really looks all that good. Ugh, one of these days, I'm going to... I think there's actually tools you can use to make your own walls and stuff like that. Okay, so this is going to be a two-chef kind of a kitchen. Oh, yeah, we got to do a whole fucking recipe. Yeah, we got... Yeah, fuck me, we got all kinds of shit to do. All right. We got one breakfast. It's the only thing we're comfortable serving for breakfast. Um, yeah, we got some award-winning shit. Are we only going to do award-winning shit? We're going to do that. Award-winning shit. And award-winning shit. That's three good things there. Creamy potato soup. Throw that on there. Pea soup, cream of asparagus, cream of red bell pepper. Can't always give them what they want. We'll do that, and that'll be it. Yeah, just two. That's fine. Okay, definitely doing the beef. Gotta serve our good stuff. 
dried bean casserole and all of our chefs are really good at that it's a pretty cheap dish but we do like our stuffed peppers actually we're not gonna do the uh, dried bean casserole here never mind I'm taking that off the menu we are going to have stuffed peppers be our cheap thing you can get here it's still a good 51 it'll do beef daub the beef dab um, actually, that beef tenderloin is not that bad. It's very expensive. And like the Don said, the yuppies are coming. Um, sure, throw that on the menu. Fish Wellington. Yeah, that and the Fish Wellington, we'll call it there. That's pretty good. Dessert, chocolate tart. Crepes, of course, we have to. Fucking 626 and sell it for 640. Apple tart. Mmm, we're actually gonna do some other things. Fruit croton, seafood quiche are probably good. Yeah, no, that's fine. I, I think that's a good menu right there. Okay, and now it's time to futz around with the prices. So that'll be $10. That's already 14 This needs to be $18 and not a cent less. This is a nice, good price. We'll keep that at eight. Uh, put that at fourteen. This is plenty cheap. Keep that at four. This can't be four. This needs to be seven. Fish Wellington can go down to fifteen dollars. Uh, that needs to stay about that same price. This is four. That we will also do that at $14. Beef tenderloin. This will be our gut puncher. It'll be 20 bucks. If you dare to get it, this is. You can put this down to like $11. There you go. And the dab. Uh, I think it's a deserving 16 Seafood quiche is 2 bucks. I think we can sell that for 8 and get away with it. Fruit gratin with almonds, that needs to stay at about nine. The crepes, crepes need to be fucking eight bucks. That'll do it, all right. Gotta get ourselves, just throw all the drinks on there, who cares? I know I was doing all this, oh shit. Hit all those buttons and then you get the wrong one at the very end. Okay, and then we have our alcohol license, good. No reason not to serve booze. Okay. And you know what? This kitchen's so fucking big, you each get your own table. Okay, we should have everything needed there. Um, yes, we're going to do two of those, maybe. Let's see. Is there any reason we can't put it in the corner? The answer is no, there really isn't. Perfect. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm actually going to throw those over there. Okay, doing that. So we have two... Not too much thoroughfare. Man. I think we got enough tables. I think we're doing fine. We should put some lights over by the stairs, though. That's just safety there. All lights. There we go. Nice lit up staircase. Okay, now it's time to actually get some staff over here. So, this is going to be our French restaurant. Um, Tres Tabla. We can definitely afford to throw someone over there. And honestly, I think these guys are running it pretty well. Yeah, Terry and uh, Pierre, they're doing just fine. I'm going to transfer Armand, since he's okay. And now I need to go to the Cosa Nostra. All right. Who's got the skills to make it in French cuisine? You do. Mario can definitely come over. Uh, Oz can. He's got himself a good niche here. I don't want to move him. Marco and Stefano are... Yeah, you know what? We're... I'm moving you over. There we go. 
All right, cool. So now we need to get the staff on here. We've got our chefs. They're the best chefs we have at this point. This might be a little much, but let's see what we can do about that. Okay, so now we need... I'm going to do two captains, but I'm not going to really force them anywhere. They can just go where they're needed. Luigi DeVille. Who was the other guy we hired? Mon oh, wait, no, no, hold on. We're going to have Olivio. Is, is, is that a he? I, I think. You got some lips on you. All right. Not, not going to bug. Not going to bug him with that. Okay. Uh, Giovanni, they're all guys, so we can't really do much about that, except hire the dude who's already got tons of skill. Cool, okay. Alright, uh, Kurto, sure. We're gonna do th three? Hiring these guys by skill right now. Yeah, Diana's good, and now nah, we'll do four. We can do four. Okay, kitchen porters. Apparently, some talent's starting to come in here. Okay, and do not skimp out on that. We're good. Lorello Lococo, that should be enough. For staff, we need at least one of these. Sir, Really? We've got two Lorello Lococos. Well, you guys get to hang out on the first floor together. You're the best, so you can do that, but you two need some discipline, so, wow. 30, okay, well, alright, cool. Looks like that's gonna work out. I'm just gonna go ahead and open that up. And it's already three and a half stars. Expectations are high. Yeah. We just need to win the Italian regionals, and this shouldn't be too hard. This restaurant's opening up at 11, right? I think we can get away with that. Yeah, that should be fine. Oops, put down the walls if you can't see. Ooh, not enough cash. Man, we are. Yeah, no, we can't afford any of this shit. Actually, if we are out of cash, I'm going to cut this down to like, yeah, 25k. It's not going to be that bad. Hopefully not. Look, they actually like their breakfast. No one's complaining. It's amazing. They're spending money. Everyone's waiting for that $10 cinnamon streusel bun, and he's going to have himself a good time. Alright, are these guys fighting over what to cook yet? He's getting in the fucking way. A chef is approaching. Oh. Oof. Well, okay, now we're, we're starting to get into a too many cooks zone. And he looks like he has a very silly hat on. Niccolo Pata something or another. He's getting himself some creamy potato soup. And stuffed peppers. Favorite food, spaghetti marinara. Why is he here then? He's only paying 18 bucks. Crazy. Okay, we are coming in under expectations. And someone else has given us an event. We'll come back to you, Mr. Chef. Ooh, recipe. Baked broccoli, macaroni, and... Uh, I don't know how good we can do that. Yep, that's fine. Okay, is that the chef guy? Is he impressed with the food? No, 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 he's getting a bill. Don't you dare get away from us. Gotcha. 
Hey, yay, even better than in Liguria. So what's so special? Superb fishing. And soil, okay, cool. <laughs> can, can I not? Soon to be renowned chefs. What? Knowledge of secret Lingurian spaghetti with artichokes, a rare classic. Wait a minute, I didn't have a choice. I just hired him immediately. Okay, just throwing more chefs at me, sure. Sure. Ooh, creamy pumpkin. Any soup that I can get, I'm gonna grab because there's not too many of those. Um, okay. Yeah, no, we just have a third chef in here. Alright, fine, I'll buy you a stove, get you started. <laughs> I like how I shut that thing up. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that, actually. We're going to adjust the table over a little bit. So that they just have to go in between. Not favoring one side of the room or the other. Ah, uh, more? Greetings. Okay, good. More recipes. Excellent. Or, sorry, more ingredients. Oh, that button is how you leave the restaurant. Okay, found it. So, on the recipe menu, now I have to go through all the recipes again, and hey, we got good milk. Yes. Machiavellian meats. Ooh, that, that boosted that a lot. Alright, cool. Okay, well, this milk's gonna be doing ourselves some good. Okay. White wine, spaghetti with artichokes. Is that really a secret? Whatever. Parsley, it's 69 now. Pretty good. Okay, 44 to 45. Not too bad. And I think we've already gone through all of our... Yes. Okay, cream of red bell pepper. We can, might finally get this above. Uh, nope, still 38. Oh well, we tried. Creamy pumpkin. Here's what I was hoping for. 46, 40... Eh, okay. Better than the cream of red bell pepper, that's for sure. Fisherman's soup. We gotta throw that on a menu somewhere. Oh, hey, look. Clam chowder needs a good milk. 49. Okay. And he was a butchery, right? It was Machiavellian meats, and they're only giving us milk. Which, to be fair, very ubiquitous ingredient. Don't mind. Milk and mustard. Really? Machiavellian meats has given us mustard. I guess it's, like, meat-related. I don't know. Peanut oil. Our suppliers are weird. Just wait until I get a guy with cheese. Okay, looks good. Yep, crepes. Just making them more expensive. Eh, 58, not too bad. Ooh, that had one in there. 53 to 56. That's not bad at all. Vanilla ice cream. Better milk, 41%. Apparently didn't do all that much. Seafood quiche. Still 57. Alright, that should have upgraded all those recipes. How's the new restaurant doing? Anything really bad over here? Hmm. Complaints are actually very low. Just have some timing. Ah, oh boy. More events. I can't. Yeah, no. You tried, you failed. Okay, what are you complaining about? Oh. <laughs> Your soup was terrible. Well, I guess you're gonna get out of the bill. No, you still paid it. Alright. Fair enough, I will address your concerns, because you actually paid the bill. Oh, no! Oh, I really have run out of space in the kitchen. Fuck it. I want to see what happens. We got a huge kitchen here. 
We could probably keep him on. What's he good at? American? Not really. He's got some French appetizer skills, but we've already got a French appetizer maker. Okay, that means we are dumping our money into there now. And we'll, we'll keep a little maintenance there, too. Okay. Alright, so now the question is, how am I going to divvy up the menu? I'm pretty sure the appetizers are going to Armand. Because, uh, yeah, look at him. Yep. Shia LaBeouf. Okay, the soups. I want to make sure we have someone with actual skill making them. And the answer is going to be Mario, because, well, we're doing kind of shitty on the soups right now. Okay. Uh, the rest of these are kind of a free-for-all. Maybe. How good are you on your main courses? You suck. You suck at everything. Um, well, glad you're not making anything right now. Can I, like, throw him into... Oh, that's a good question. I don't know where to put him. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna keep the ranges low. Just let, let other people cook. Desserts. Do we have anyone? Okay, he's he's not that bad at desserts, but we've got people who are way better at desserts. Why does this guy suck so bad too? Keep hiring people. <laughs> I'm too nice for my own good. I want to spit. Oh shit! Yeah, we don't have that much money. Well, to be fair, we were spending a hundred thousand, now we're only spending fifty thousand. That's good. Service could always use improvements. Yeah, we just need to sit and make some money. Yeah, all restaurants. So we still have a five percent profit margin. That's probably because we were spending so much on training. Which is good. At least for the short term. And if we have to actually make some numbers happen. Oh yeah, speaking of actually making numbers happen. Uncle Shia wants to talk. Huh. Alright, well let's find out what they want. He, he wants. Your performance so far has been fantastic. In fact, the financial sector has agreed to raise your credit limit. Oh boy, the financial sector has in upgraded your asset rating and agreed to license or increase your loan limit. <laughs> I guess I'll be off to take out a loan. Okay, hold on, is it a good idea to exchange recipes? Okay. Well, that didn't give me any information that I already didn't know. Hooray! I talked to my uncle and I got a credit limit. Upgrade. I got some beeping going on. Who are you? What do you want? Okay. Chef preparation skills. I swear we've already got this, but... I don't have the money. Right. I keep spending my money. Should I take out a loan? I don't know. I do want to try and get the cream of red bell peppers actually working for me, but... Eh, no guarantees. What was I going to do? Right, I was going to just look into this. Two chefs, three rounds, Italian recipe, Italian appetizer, green pea ravioli with lemon broth. Do I have this? Green pea ravioli with lemon broth. Green pre ravioli. Okay, I got a 48 on it. Someone's got to be good at cooking that. Um, well, let's bust on in here and see what happens. I only have $10,000 and I'm spending it. Alright. I'm going to join now with that. Who's our soup guy? Wow, is he really our soup guy? 
I could enter with Mario and just fuck shit up. I think I'm gonna do that, actually. Yeah, fuck those other two guys. Makosa Nostra's going down the drain at this point. I'm taking my intern. Okay, any Italian recipe. Okay, good. We can just go through here. We got 70 on this, which we've already cooked. Okay, tell me. Good, you've got 100% on that. Italian celery salad. We need to make a good first showing, and I don't want to repeat anything. 73, that's another award winner. I could do 68. Hold back a little bit. 66. I want to. I want to stick with the 68. Yeah, we've already done that. All right. 73. That's already won plenty. All right. 68. Stock ingredients. Good pork back rib. All right. Go, Armand. Oops. Right. Mini games. Time to suck at the mini games. Perfect. Almost. That was 40. Damn it. Oof. That was close. That was a bad screw up. Oh, at least they got 70, though. How are we doing on these other chefs? 51? Yeah. No, they've lost. <laughs> we're called LaBeouf's Foods. Okay. Yeah, we're winning. Okay, what now? Italian appetizers. What we got? We got our award winner. Kind of crazy. We need to cook that later. 30 on the celery salad. Um, I don't want to use that if I don't have to. Alright, switching chefs. 65. We're waiting in the wings on that one. A 75. Ooh. Is this one already a winner? Hold on. Can you tell if they've already won? Yes. So we can... Prawns with fried snow peas. You know what? I want to get the macaroni on the board. It's still a 75. That's still an easy win. And Armand can't do anything, but he does have some stock ingredients. Wow. Armand, please give him your ingredients. Man, that sucks. That went from 70 to 75. Oh, well, you can still cook it at a 75. Yeah, let's get this macaroni going. I'm just sucking at all of these, but hey, 76, that ain't bad. Killing it in turn. That puts us very much securely in the lead. <laughs> pasta perfect, more like pasta fuck off. You're done. Okay, now we have the one recipe that we have to do. 32 versus 65. We got this. Ooh, that was... Not that bad. And I suck at half of these. At least I can count. That was pretty good. Boosted that up to 67. That's not going anywhere. Were you just killing it? Okay. They brought something to the table. Fucking puns. I didn't even realize that was going to happen until it happened. That's going to be a win for us. Got a plaque, got some Napoleon, and 20k. <laughs> I was about to say, I was about to over overreach there, but no, we're pretty good. Alright. That was easy. Can we do it again? <laughs> keep it up. I want to keep winning money. Baked creamy cheesy pasta. Um, is our other dude good at... Uh, it's the same thing. We just keep going.